Welcome to our lecture online. So now let's do a formal introduction to the standard deviation of a binomial distribution. So on the previous video we looked at the mean, here we're going to look at the standard deviation. In the next chapter we're going to show you how to actually utilize all this, but at least now we need to learn how to calculate them. And again we're going to use the same examples before, the basketball player who can make 80% of the shots from the free throw line and is going to have five attempts. So the equation is that the standard deviation, this, this uh, Greek letter sigma, is equal to the square root of the number of the attempts times the probability of success, meaning the probability that he'll make a basket, times the probability of a failure that he will miss the basket. So, how do we calculate it? Well, sigma, the standard deviation, is equal to the square root of n, in this case n is 5, because he's going to make 5 attempts, the probability of success is 80% uh, because he's making 80% of his shots, so it would be 8 out of 10. And the probability of failure that he'll miss a shot is 2 out of 10. Alright, so this is equal to the square root of 5 times 4 out of 5 times 1 out of 5. And of course these two 5's cancel out. We end up at 4 over, let's see here, 4 over 5, so this is equal to the square root of 4 over 5. All right, that would be 0 0.8, 0 0.8, take the square root of that, which is 0 0.8944. So this is equal to 0 0.8944, which is equal to, well, I'm not going to convert it to percent, because when we're dealing with standard deviation, we typically add that and subtract that from the mean. Typically, it's the mean plus one standard deviation or minus one standard deviation or plus or minus two standard deviations. So again, we'll attack that concept in the next chapter. Here, we simply want to know how to calculate the standard deviation. So remember, the mean from the previous video was four, and the standard deviation is almost one, so that would be plus or minus one standard deviation would be somewhere between three and five. And we'll explain what that means in the later chapter, but that is how it's done. Okay, one more.